I used to have a beautiful aloe plant here, but it froze in our snowmageddon we had this year. So I'm gonna pull all the weeds out, take out my petrified wood, and I'm gonna plant something else in here. The soil was good at one time, but it's been here a long time. I'm gonna take a little bit of it out. There's a shell on there. We go to the beach a lot because we don't live far from Galveston. We live probably 15 minutes from the bay, a little further to the beach. We believe that there used to be like a well pump here. We're not sure. We think this was two lots. And I did a video, a slideshow video, on how this started. This little patio we have back here. I'll reference that. I'm gonna finish digging this hole and then I'm gonna get to planting. Okay, I have a decent hole dug, so. I'm gonna put some organic soil in there. And I'm gonna pop my plant in there. Mexican heather grows really well here. If it freezes, you just cut it back. It's not a problem. And it comes back every year. Bees and butterflies like it. All right, I've got that in the ground. And then I have this oxalis. My daughter gave me a few years ago that's still surviving. It was in a pot. I'm gonna put it over in this corner. I still had some in that corner from when the aloe was here. It wasn't doing so hot because I found out there was ants in here. Anyway, I'm gonna put this oxalis in this corner over here. Put some over in this corner too. See what I deal with? Snails. Are everywhere. It's lake living. It'll perk back up. If it's not the ants, it's the snails. Grab a couple more. All right, so I've got the oxalis in the two corners, the Mexican heather in the middle, and now I am going to start placing my little petrified wood back in here. I collect it, it's kind of dirty. It'll get washed off, um, but I collect it. My kids know I collect it and they'll bring me pieces from various places. My, grand my parents have a farm that gets some from there. Um, and I usually just kind of place it in my garden. I also collect heart-shaped rocks, which my daughter gave me. I'm gonna finish placing these around here. It's kind of hard to do one-handed and I'll be back. Okay, I got those placed, various places. I'm gonna throw some gravel in around here. Tends to help keep my chickens from digging everything up. The 
time there's clean, fresh dirt, they come being noisy. All right, there we are. Much better than where we started. I think the purple from the oxalis goes really good with the pur little purple flowers of the Mexican heather. There's no way the yard guy can mistake these for weeds. If he does, Lord help him. Thank you for watching.